it's Emma here from Bloomin' Art here in Hartlepool with the lovely Howie White. Howie, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your art form? Hi, um, I'm Howie White, obviously. Uh, my art form is photography. Started about 11 years ago. Um, started as a bit of a hobby. Ended up a lot more than a hobby. Um, running it as a, a sideline business now. Um, like to shoot bands, musicians, creative stuff. Uh, basically giving people a new image. That sort of thing. That's what I'm into. Yeah. So how did you first get involved then in, in photography? Gosh, long story. Started that when I was around about uh, 20. It was my first attempt. Started with film. Um, really liked a girl at the time who was into photography. <laughs> and because I wanted to be with her, um, that's why I did it. Um, that worked out okay for a while. Then, uh, then she dumped me. So at Aww. that stage, sort of dumped the photography as well. Um, put it to one side, didn't really think about it. Um, then went on a, a long date to New York with another girl and did some photography there with a little compact camera. Um, Realised that that really wasn't going to work out with me and her, but really wanted to pick that camera up again. So that was my hobby thing. When I came back, I sort of swore to myself, I bought a little compact Sony camera and swore that I wouldn't buy another camera for a year to see if I would get into it again. That, that was the thing. So, and I did. Um, and within a year, I'm, I'm, I bought my, my new camera, like sort of a big sort of big camera, as you call them. And it's gone on from there. That's, that's the history of me and photography based around women. <laughs> I was going to say, that's brilliant. So apart from taking your inspiration and influence from girlfriends or women, <laughs> yes. is, there anything, is there anything else that influences your art? Um, now, Tim Walker, discovered Tim Walker and like the way that he shoots and sets up stages and this sort of thing. Um, yeah, my wife pointed me in his direction and that's become a big influence again. Um, yeah, just love setting things up. Love the, like the, the creative process of setting it up. You know, the planning between models and, and different people sort of coming together. I really like that. that that's a big thing for me, yeah. Well have you had any formal education around photography then, or is, is it something you've learned through passion and, and determination to want to do it? Totally self-taught. Um, I've had a few sort of one-on-ones with photographers um, that, that are friends that are, you know, that I aspire to, you know, the guys that you meet, you know, I am not worthy of your, so <laughs> I sort of hunted them out, stalked them on the internet, um, spent some time with different people over the years. You know, I've, you know, I'm very good at stalking people. There was a guy I really liked um, from Utah um, in America. And for two years, I sort of like messaged him and everything like that. And eventually he came over and stayed and we had a few days together and um, that was quite good fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. So have you, how do you kind of get your work shown? You mentioned, did mention earlier on you'd done an album cover. Did you say yeah, I've done, yeah. done a few album covers. Yeah, um, that started off with a couple of local guys from Newcastle who'd spotted me stuff. And then their um, label got involved. Um, you know, I beat Peter Gabriel's recording studio. So like different things like that, sort of like where it's, sort of, you know, networks on. Mm -hmm. Where do I show? Built the website, um, done a couple of little exhibitions, very small ones now and again. Um, yeah, so social media is a big thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think um, lockdowns had a big impact on your uh, yeah platform? Yeah, it, 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 yeah, because obviously the shoots with the, you know models and people like that, and even musicians, it involves a lot of like one-on-one -on -one stuff. Um, mentally, I sort of set this like 2020. I thought, yeah, I'm really going to go for it big time, um, and that yeah, that put an end to that to start off with. And I've sneaked in a few different things. Um, but that's hard because you're dealing with people again mm -hmm. and everybody's on different levels with it. Some people are very, you know, they don't want to know, you know, and even when you meet people, 
sometimes they're not the same person you knew. So yeah, it's it's yeah, it's been hard and hard on everybody, I guess. Mm. Has it had any impact on kind of plans? There's been quite a few people that we've spoken to that it like it initially impacted them, but it's afforded them the time to plan and actually something new was developed from it. Would could you say that was the same for you or um, I've met different people through it, like, you know, and, and again, Zoom meetings. Um, I've got involved with different sorts of people, I suppose, within different industries where people have sort of latched me into, you know, planning stages of different things, working with different companies. Um, Barley, uh, Barley Go, Go Landscape, and, you know, they've, they've invited me to do stuff, and that's mainly in London. So that's, yeah, so that's worked out quite well. Yeah. It gave them the time to look around for photographers. Right. And bizarrely, they picked a guy from Hartlepool in the northeast, and not the London mob. So that was quite. Hey. I know, quite cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So I've made some, uh, yeah, enemies of photographers in London now as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it goes, I guess. Yeah. So why, why do you or do you um, think that the arts is important, kind of, to you personally and more generally? That's a big question. I know. I know, that's a huge question, isn't it? Um, well, the story behind that is married, married Amanda, um, art lecturer, artist, um, art in everything. Totally blew my mind. Um, hadn't thought about art, um, hadn't thought about that process at all. Um, but now my whole life's full of great people and artists and creative people. Um, I don't know. Don't know the answer to that one. It's too big, isn't it? <laughs> it is big at That's this time question. of day. The arts is massive. Is it important? Hugely. Yeah, I think lockdowns talk talk us an awful lot that art is extremely important. Being creative is extremely like important to people, and definitely for their mental state. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it really is. Um, you know, when this, you know, there's been a lot of things about art. You know. A lot of negativity by the government, et cetera, et cetera. And you only just had to look at the uprising over one advert, let's say, the ballerina advert. Look at that. That that sort of like, yeah, that that sort of got everybody. Yeah, we're not we're not having that. We'll have none of that. You know, art art's important, music, same thing, creativity, extremely important. Yeah. I think um it's kind of made people because everything's stopped, it's made people realise actually just how much art does impact people's everyday lives. Yeah. The appreciation for it. Yeah, it too. Yeah, it does. Oh. Well, it's been lovely speaking to you, Howie. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, no problem. See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye.